Um, Gotta find the button. It's two hey plus guys. Two five. Typing is next great script. I'm Scooter Magruder. This is Clickbait Sports, and we have a grand, amazing show for you. Joining me is none other than Brandon Perna. What is going on, Brandon? Hey, guys. Uh, I almost missed the show today because I was changing a blown-out diaper. You love to see Stay to the also- end of the show to find out whether it was mine or my baby's. <laughs> also, <laughs> Tease. Five points, vids. Five points. Welcome to the show. I bet you're happy about your draft. We're going to get all into that, but welcome, Five. Thank you. Thank you. I was uh, on uh, the Pat McAfee show before the draft. Thank you. As five star Ooh. point vids. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, man. Okay. Mentioned Ruby Starfish. Speaking yeah. of uh, interesting names, urinating tree. Welcome, brethren. Welcome. Hello. To the- uh, I mean, I got to say, your suit game is on point today. You see sir. it? Do you see? Yes, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Very symmetrical. What else, what else is on point is someone by the name of Tom Grassi. Tom, welcome, brethren. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Cool. Hit me a little late. What's right. going on, Tom? Thank you. What, how, hey. how, how are the vibes today? Oh, the vibes are good. The vibes are strong. The vibes are strong. Strong vibes? Yeah, yeah okay. we're vibing. Chat, we have a great show for you today. But before we get into that, um, you guys see the suit. Right. Maybe you know that Subway invited me to the draft. Maybe you don't. We're going to get into all of that. But before we do, we have a special guest. I know it's been a while since we had a special guest on, but joining this show. Okay. I need everyone in the chat right now to be commenting W. I don't know what, what channel you're on, but you need to be commenting W right now because joining this stream, if you were watching the draft, You saw the New York Giants fan, Make-A-Wish recipient, Sam Prince, is joining this stream. W's in the chat. We got him on the show. Sam Prince, welcome, brethren. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Love everyone's channels. Thank you guys for having me on. It's an honor to be here. Absolutely. So I guess... We can just start with the first question, and guys, you can just join in as well, asking Sam whatever questions you want. But first question, why the heck are you a Giants fan? Let's start there. <laughs> All right. What? Oh, because I live in New Jersey, 20 minutes away from MetLife Stadium. My grandpa, Ben Tabs, has had season tickets to the Giants for over 50 years. My whole family bleeds blue. Let's go, Giants. Let's go, Giants. That's right. Wow. Wow. And so, then <laughs> follow up. And then, Brandon, you can get your, your question. Just follow up. What was going through your mind? Okay. You're on the stage. You're announcing the pick. What was going through your mind? Did, did you know who Kayvon was before you made the announcement? Did you see before the name? Like, take us through. Let us know. All right. So, when the Giants surprised me at the practice facility, when John, when John, I was talking to John Mara before, right before they surprised me, I told, I told John Mara, I was like, John, not John. I didn't call him John. I want to. I got to be professional. Hey, John, the boy. Hey, 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 John, John so I'm like, Mr. Meyer, if Kayvon's head was on the board, I'd run up to the podium and select it myself. Ten minutes later, Joe Shane and Dave's would grant my wish of going to the first round draft and the whole draft weekend and announcing the first round draft pick. Stiller, you know, make a wish. They've done so much for me. This experience, my make a wish is beyond amazing. So I, I love college football. And if you would have told me that Kayvon Thibodeau went five in the draft <laughs> mm-hmm. starting in college ball season 2021, I would have thought you're crazy. What is that? Yeah. And, you know, he's there. I, I know your cat. I know Scooter really wanted Kayvon right here. So did but, Jerry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they all wanted, wanted him. He got time. him. And, and Roger Goodell, Commissioner Goodell, handed me the card. He's like, we ha- got it together. And I'm like, <laughs> what 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 was it like when Kayvon came out there and you guys were just together? What what was going through your mind? What were the vibes for you? 
I was like, you know what? Why do I just dance with him? Why not? That's just my kind of personality. And we kind of went viral. <laughs> That's all. So I, I want to rewind a little bit. So you have, you, you get to select, like you, you have your wish, right? Like what made you think of the of the draft and, and announcing the pick? Like where did that come from? I just I, I mean that's like a special thing and and I, I find it interesting. Like what gave you the idea to do that? Well, five. So I've always loved New York Giants football and I've loved the NFL. I loved college football and I loved the draft. And I was watching the draft one year. I'm like, I always thought about what? What if I could go to the draft? I'm like what if I announced the draft pick? So I said to my parents, this is what I want my wish to be in 2019. I want to go to the 2020 draft and announce the Giants first round pick. But obviously I did not go in 2020 due to COVID-19. Right. And then mm -hmm. I couldn't go in 2021 due to COVID again. And then I got my wish granted the Monday before the draft. It's crazy. This whole feeling. I mean, it's really a match made in heaven, everything. I mean, I can't, I can't, can't thank make wish enough. Can't thank my donor family enough. Can't thank everyone who's helped me get here enough. And it was just an experience of a life that I'm, and I'm still on cloud nine. Oh Maybe. yeah. You, you looked at, I mean, I, I, I mean, I was excited at home watch, you know, tree and I were streaming, of course, getting cave on Thibodeau, but the fans at home, we felt the it way that you were acting on the stage because we, everyone, all the giants fans were overjoyed that we stole cave on Thibodeau at five. I, okay. I, let's just, let's just start. Let's go there. Let's okay. go there. Cave on at five. Okay, somehow, some way, the Giants pulled this off. Five, yeah. Sam, what, what the heck? What are you thinking when you saw this name come through, Kayvon Thibodeau? Five, you were talking about beforehand. <laughs> you wanted this. I want that. I'm like, let's go. We got him. I'm like shaking. And I'm like, okay, I'm just like calming down, calm myself. I, I was practicing his name and all the other draft. Prospects named this the whole week, so I wouldn't mess up. Which, which like, names were the hardest for you? Like, Akeem, which names you're Akeem Aquano? <laughs> okay. That was the oh, absolutely yeah. hardest name. Okay, so we're glad. Kayvon Thibodeau. In, oh, yeah. in and out. Akeem. Five, what were you thinking when Kayvon Thibodeau's name came across? Uh, the when I saw Trayvon Walker go one, I was like, that's <laughs> a good sign, right? <laughs> and then, and then when you know, the, and then when they, the uh, Lions took Hutchinson. I was like, oh boy, like this is getting even better because you're looking at the draft and you're like, what do these teams need? And then when, you know, uh, I think uh, who went at it was a Stingley, Stingley and Sauce. Stingley, yeah, yeah. When, when the Jets and when the Jets just did us a solid and was like, here, let me just hand cave on Thibodeau to you, Sam. I want to know. Uh, so you don't, you didn't know anything right until they hand you the placard. Like you have no clue what's so, going on. So actually like, I, I knew the pick. One so when you guys watch at home, they said the pick is in, and Scooter, you were there, you saw it. They say on the screen the pick is in. Once that's on the screens, that's when I know I knew it right when Commissioner Goodell found out. So I was like, Oh my gosh, let's go, let's go, let's go. So is that why there were so many leaks? Like I saw so many people there know what yeah. the pick is when we were watching it at home, like five eight minutes in advance, people were chatting and tweeting out about the, pick. Oh yeah. Is that why the leaks were so bad? Like people were just finding out information beforehand. You know, I had my phone on do not disturb the whole day. And I didn't <laughs> no, want I any leaks me. to ruin it. So I, I can't comment on that. You know, I hate when, when people leak the draft pick because at that point, what's the point of watching the draft? Right. What's Goodell like? That's what I got. That's the also, the other thing I got to know. I, obviously, you're not going to say anything bad about him. But All right. Like, no, no, no. What, and and chat. Like? Also, chat. If you guys have some questions, make sure to get them in in the chat because Sam will have to peace out soon. So any questions, also, let us know. Up, can you follow up the Goodell answer with, do you still have John Mara's phone number? And can you ask him to reverse the taunting penalties? <laughs> so I, I do not have Mr. Mara's phone number, dang unfortunately. It. I, I know, it's, it's a pretty dang it for me. So right. five, I thought, and a lot, so a lot of people think, I, I had no opinion on Mr. Goodell personally. because I didn't know him because I didn't want to make a judgment to him because I never like making judgments to people that I never met. And a lot of people thought he was an absolute jerk and that he's you know just not a cool guy. But I met with him. He is a very nice human being. You know, he spent more time with me before and after the pick than he should have. He could have just came and introduced himself, took a picture or two, 
walked on stage and said goodbye. He spent a, at least 15 to 20 minutes with me nice. just talking about my life and his life. You know, I gave him a green donate light bracelet. I'll send you guys all one. It means organ. It's an organ donation nice. symbol. So Scooter, you can help me with that a little later. And he put it on. He could have just said thank you and put it on his pocket. He put it on for the whole night. Did Not you long. did you ask him like, hey Raj, uh, <laughs> that pick we just did went pretty well. Do you want me to come back out for the next pick? <laughs> just do a do lap, just come right back out. Because right. so, I think uh, we just killed it, Raj. Yeah, it, so, your Roger, Mister Good, Commissioner Goodell was very impressed with me, and he even asked invited me into the picture with him and Kavon's. That picture with Kavon and the commissioner and me. Kayvon's going to have that for the rest of his life. So I'm always going to be with Kayvon. <laughs> mm-hmm. nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. Okay. That's, that's a, so, oh, go ahead, Fire. Oh, uh, one segue is like, okay, so you're on stage, you're dancing with Kayvon. What's Kayvon like? You know, also one little quick note don't get me to ro- like start liking Roger Goodell because he's he sounds yeah. deep now. My, no, I feel I, like I, the Grinch. Like my heart is expanding like over him. Roger Goodell. I like him. So Kayvon, you know, so. I saw Scooter right before I went out of the red carpet. I know Scooter was there. Scooter was to the right of me. I was all the way to the end. You're with MMG. And, you know, I'm there. You know, I see – I met, like, half the players. I actually didn't get to meet Evan Neal and Kayvon before the draft. And my only interaction with him was on the stage. But I've been in contact with his social media manager so for some stuff. Uh, so I'm going to meet him eventually again. So we'll hit, kick it off hopefully again. So, speaking of Evan Neal, you guys get Kayvon Thibodeau. Some people thought y'all could have drafted Evan Neal where y'all drafted Kayvon Thibodeau. What do you think about this kid, Sam? Scooter, we got Neal at seven, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, oh, what, what's funny I was uh, Tree, when during our stream, was like, oh, you just drafted Thibodeau. He's like, you guys messed up. You should have taken Neal there. I was like, look. There's only one pick sandwiched in between seven. It's like an Equanu and Neil were available. So we were going to get either one. I was happy with either one. So I was I was thrilled. I, I knew that after we took Thibodeau, that was a smart thing to do. Thibodeau was the only one that could have gone at six because either way, like if you have a choice between two, take the one, take yeah. the one. And they you did know, it right. The way the I'll, I'll, get the, I'll get to that question in a, in a minute, Michael. I look at it like this. The Cowboys would have traded up with the Panthers at number six for Kayvon if the Giants went with Evan Neal or Icky. So the Giants, Joe Shane made a decision like any other smart GM would make. See, there was a run of defensive players. You have to pick up seven. So you get the best player available. You get Kayvon Thibodeau, the second or best. I think he's the best edge rusher in the draft. You know, some people think it's Hutchinson, but I, he's 1A, 1B. It's almost irreversible. But in my book, I have him as Kayvon, number one edge rusher, and the second best defensive player in the draft. Nice. And then you get Aquano or Neil at seven. What? That's just yeah. heaven for the Giants. Listen, you're talking way too much facts uh, here. Listen, you're you're doing you're doing a great job, actually, Sam, to, to be honest. For people who don't know who you are and want to follow you, and also, I will be appearing on your podcast. What's the name of that? Where can they follow you? And let's get uh, one last question in here for Sam. Yes. Uh, one that. more thing I do want to say. Kayvon Thibodeau's handshake game. How impressed were you with it? I was very impressed. You know, I thought it was like a hog, you know. Hey, man, welcome to the Giants. Like, something like that. But no, he, like, was like this. I was like, what am I going to just do? Stand there? <laughs> it? And then I was like, oh, man. I was like, I was like you saw, I see the infamous picture of me, like, going, like, as I said, like, and that was all over social media. And Scooter, the name of my podcast is, is called Prince on the Pod. And you can follow that on Instagram and TikTok. We also have a YouTube channel. We're putting on more, more vids out. And then my personal account is Sam the Prince 14. You can follow Sam the Prince 14 on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, and then are you guys okay if I just put that in the chat right now? Is everyone okay if Do I put it up. that? Absolutely. All right. So I'll put that link in the chat for everyone to follow. And Sam, it has been a pleasure having you on, brother. I'm sure that we'll be in touch and I'll be on your podcast going forward here. But Sam, great job. And I'm excited for Love it. your future, brother. Yeah, man. Thank you. I'm excited for what you guys are going to do next. I think you guys... The five of you guys have very bright futures in the content creator world. Yes. Absolutely. Can we get some W's 
for Sam. W's. Prince. Prince on the pod. Prince on the pod. First Prince we've ever had. So. Yeah. <laughs> w, W's. Had a couple kings. All right. So. All right. There we go. Thank you, Sam. Sam. Appreciate Thank you, it. brother. Thanks, Sam. And that was awesome, guys. Great interview. Yeah, good man. get. Yeah, let's go. Right oh, I, I, I <laughs> <to> pop in. <laughs> okay, so we're going to transition now to my experience at the NFL draft. For those unaware, Subway invited me out to the draft. Y'all see it? Eat fresh. What am I doing? You're dressing oh fresh, God. too, man. Crucial. So basically, Subway hit me up. They're like, Scooter, you want to go to the draft? And I was like, yes, what the heck? <laughs> and what they had was they had like their own booth, okay, at the draft. And you could go to this booth. If you were in Vegas, you could just stop by the booth and just get free subs. They called it the Subway Vault. The whole purpose was at the Subway Vault, they were unveiling new signature subs. They had three athletes, Jordan Davis, Garrett Wilson, Kayvon Thibodeau. These were all Subway athletes, and all of them were unveiling their own sub at the Subway vault. Um, just an extremely dope experience. And then what happened was if – okay, I got to take this off. But what happened is, is that um, they unveiled their picks, and if you came through, you could get tickets to go to the NFL draft. MMG was another one of the creators there. They had this girl called Overtime Megan also there, big on TikTok. Jenna Bandy came uh, a day after. Overall, just is. a very dope experience. Um, if we can get – what clips do you have over there, Brandon? Because we have some clips for you guys to see, not just me talking everything. All of the clips. Um, of them. But let's play – Want to start okay. with Zion? Oh, uh, let's end. Let's go. Let's end with that. Oh, one, he's actually. the finisher, huh? So oh, the big forty-yard dash. Well, that, let's do that one towards the end too. Let's start with what I was able to do was I actually interviewed all three of the subway athletes. So, and I asked all of them to the camera, "Why should a GM pick you?" Right? I just asked them, "Tell me why a GM should pick you." And this is what they said. Play with a whole lot of passion. Make a quarterback feel real comfortable, real uh, more reliable target. Uh, if you want to excel your offense, you know, come get me. I'll be there. You know, great teammates. So that's what I'm telling GM. What are you saying to them? Pick me. I'm the best player off the board. <laughs> the GMs aren't gonna watch it. I'm gonna tackle. I'll tackle. I'm what Jordan are you saying? Davis, aka the anchor of your defense. Whoever wants me, come get me. I'm gonna hold it down in the middle. I'm gonna make everybody shine. I take two. So your linebackers can be free. Or if you need me to rush, I can rush. Obviously, y'all see my 40 time. It's no surprise that I'm fast. Got a quick get off. But at, all in all, you're going to get a guy with great character, great, a funny guy, humble guy. And I just want the opportunity to be great. I want to be the best there ever is. I am so upset, and I'm genuinely upset that Jordan Davis is a Philadelphia Eagle because this was one of the funniest people I have ever met in my life. Do you know when you just meet someone and you fall in love? You vibe. You yeah. The vibes, the love, <laughs> you vibe. It's just easy. Like you're just talking to a friend who you've always been friends with, but you just met them. That's Jordan Davis. And now this man is a gosh darn eagle. I'm sad. That's what our, the heck? That's Kayvon our... was cool too. Kayvon Thibodeau was cool too. Now they're playing for the gosh darn rival teams. I'm sad. That's how I felt when I met my urologist. That's what I got to say. <laughs> That's, fair. That's fair. But after, after this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After, can we get some more clips here? Yeah. yeah oh. So after this, we went over to the red carpet. Okay. So we can play those clips. I was able to see a whole bunch of athletes on the red carpet. So let's play that. And now. Copyright. We just got copyright. 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 Sometimes it's incidental. The music is incidental. My name's Scooter, and I love the Packers. So basically, this is when Kayvon was on the stage. All the players got interviewed on stage on the red carpet. Some of the players included 
Matt Corral. There's Iggy right there. Sauce was here. That is a here. big man. Yeah. Kayvon was here. That's Lamar Bain Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Love the ring. Ooh, Dean had a rough draft. That's Kayvon <laughs> right there. That lady wanted him to sign something. He was like, nope. Do not steal my clout. But if you were in the like blue room, you did all this. Ooh, I like that suit. Look at this, look at this. So you know I got the suit, red and black. That is way more fly than the subway jacket. the Greek key. Got a pair of Don't talk smack about the subway jacket, man. The ring is the star of the show. Star of the show right there. Oh, a lot of hard work and dedication come from this. You can't, you can't buy this. You can't buy it. Everything on here is bought except this one. That's earned. I bet I could find it on eBay. <laughs> so then we went over to the draft and we just literally watched all these players get drafted. Sick. It was just um, sick. Very sick. And what's even sicker, run the Zion Johnson clip. Look at this, chat. Look at this. You want to go Zion? Let me get the fit check. Let me get the fit check. Fit check. Crucial. I'm a Cowboys yeah, fan. Watch. Some Cowboys are hoping. Some Cowboys are hopeful. Well, I know who you are. I watch your videos. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Dumpster Fire podcast. Yeah, I'm with you. Let's go. Dumpster Fire podcast. Listen, we are the Pissed on Tree podcast with, with five star bids and the Dumpster Fire podcast. That's it. Let's oh, yeah. go. Our point vids. Um, we can just, just finish up. We can just finish up all these clips, and then we can get into our team grades. But basically, MMG was there. First time meeting MMG. I don't know if any of you guys have had any interaction. We oh, met yeah. Matt Maher. Me, me and Matt, MMG uh, is Dallas, dope. Dude. Like he's he's dope, right? Again, same thing. Like Jordan Davis, just some some guy who's made similar content, and I've just never met him. Finally, ended up meeting him. Dope guy, dope time. Uh, lost to him in the forty. If you want to run that, yeah. And then, wow. uh, do you and have then, your? Do you know the official score? Your time? It shows it at the end. Look, I need a. If you're watching this MMG, I need a rematch. Okay, timed appropriately. Let's None of this there, like on the on time. the mark get set go stuff. All right. Mm. I mean, uh, do you think you uh, are like Taekwon Thornton and you think Ooh. you need a uh, different measurement? I'm run real I fast. Think, I need struggle. I need something. So they had like stuff set up. At oh, the draft. I mean, you're pretty close, dude. I mean, oh, you're, you're right there. You yeah, pulled, you're right dude, there. You pulled up too soon. I know, yeah, but like, I was, not, I, I was six? not trying. I was not trying. Oh, I'm faster five. than Scooter. Scooter, a five, <laughs> four, six? Bro. Come on. <laughs> I was wearing socks. Whatever. I was wearing, wearing socks. You was wearing wear socks. I need Listen. track. You need traction. You, the get I, off. I we were going on an audio. We weren't going on. Our when own you take time. off the socks and you go, we're going right. primal. The point is, I need a rematch. That's the point. And then lastly, we actually got to go like on stage. I got to go in the green room, like behind the scenes, and walk through the tunnel where all the players, you know, where all the <laughs> players pause to like take their photo so we this is the last clip you can run this and then we can get into all the player strength and unity of our people and we remain humble by the outpouring of support from near and far and all over this country thank you so this was a the dress rehearsal this is the green room so day one this is where all the players were sitting we're right there in the action uh, is this where sauce gardner went the wrong way uh yeah well the thing is this it is, looks confusing now that i it's see not it. that close like it's very far <laughs> where you have to go actually to That's get drafted weird. uh remember, why did they ditch the boat remember the boat was supposed to yeah they were there? supposed to have gondolas right and you were gonna get um that's what i was told paddled up to the stage but i guess yeah, probably no, insurance no. underwriters didn't like it <laughs> someone's gonna drown in the moat yeah we can't have a player drown I don't know. I'm how sorry. Long... Some of those old linemen getting in that boat? No, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna tip it over. <laughs> yeah, so this is the hallway that the players are going through right here. Oh, oh. that's actually dope. Where's the yeah. Packers one? Playing cards. I want. They, they cards. wanted the premium teams. I yeah, want to steal them. 
this is where you go. The players would go get their selfie, put the hat on. Wait, let me... <laughs> Why didn't you steal one of those playing cards? That's all I got know. I couldn't use it in my footage because copyright Subway oh. didn't have the, the rights uh... to them. Did you um, steal anything from the draft? Only thing I got from the draft, I got this, right? And then Subway also gave me a gift package, and oh. it had a Trevor Lawrence signed football. So that's nice. in the background of my videos now. Oh, so, shouts nice. out to Subway. Nice. Yeah, they didn't right. call you the day before and say that they're sending somebody else and then send you gifts or like sample <laughs> Subway. Sample. They give you a sample, like a half no, of a sub. No. <laughs> Subway came they through. They give you a party platter. They're <laughs> a little Henshaw. more generous than Hen Shoulders. Shouts out to Subway. I appreciate you. Maybe we do a clickbait Subway uh, draft next year. Who knows? Mm. Who knows? Subway going to sponsor the Eat dumpster, fresh. The dumpster Fire podcast? Chat, would you guys buy it? the clickbait? Sandwich, the clickbait witch. It's got every piece of meat on it, <laughs> and there's one. And piece you got of a rancid side me. that represents me. <laughs> it's got okay. so many meats, you'll throw up. That's Let us know sandwich. what would be inside of the clickbait witch in the comments right now. But we're going right. to transition now. We're going to move to our picks. Scooter, our can I ask you a quick question about your draft on. experience real quick? Yeah, we got to let us ask Okay, okay yeah, ask, yeah, ask some questions that real quick. last clip that you just showed when you were posing on the stage, what was that announcement that that lady was making about some happened, like Was that for like the Ukraine? It was Like Ukraine. I feel like I see you just like posing and she's like, we are a war-torn country right yeah, now. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I 100% was not supposed to be on the stage during this. I just walked up and I was like, yo, just film me. Because I got a suit on. I look yeah, official. On, yeah. yeah, so I was like, yo. Right. Just, I look like I belong. Just roll right. roll it. So that's what was happening there. I was just stealing some shots. And they were stolen. What the heck? Now, yes. follow-up question. Was there an after party and were you invited? There was an after party. I didn't try to go, though. I was not, like, invited oh. or not, not invited. I had to do, like, my subway <laughs> video. Like I, I was under contract. Look at him. Work first, but yeah, Gronk had a party. Uh, yeah, I could have potentially gone, but I was like, bro, I have work. I have to finish. This has to come out tomorrow. Like, yeah, I was, I was there primarily for work. There were parties, a lot of parties, but honestly, you're just so exhausted a lot of the times mm. when you're traveling and doing work. Um, that the parties sometimes you're just like. If I want to party, I'll go party on my own, not during a. Uh, Scooter uh, was the high school senior saying, I, 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 "Maybe I'll stop by. Maybe I'll stop by." Yeah, but <laughs> yes, on the last clickbait, I, wasn't it? Was it the last one or the one before? It was teased that have I been to a strip club? Mm. Right. <laughs> we already we already revealed the answer for that, and oh yeah, the answer was no. What? Yes. What? No. What? No. You look more. You would look more out of place in a strip club than common sense on Twitter. Like it, it would just be like it's not there. What is it's going on? It's just not doesn't exist. All right, I gotta ask you. Who okay. was there? Who was the most famous person there? And were you able to meet them? Was Rob the most, there? <sighs> I think that's the most famous person. But I gotta. Where, or who's Rob. the most famous person you met? No, nope, not Rob there. Lowe. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't even know them. They're famous. But they're like Vegas famous. And I, I was Wayne there for Newton? sports. Wayne Newton. I got to look. Like, I don't know this guy, but everyone knows him. I'm like, who is Chris this Angel guy? Chris Angel Mind Freak. Blue it's Man Wayne Drew. Newton. Yeah. I met yeah. Oh, Wayne you Newton. met Wayne Newton? That dude's a legend. Gallagher. Yeah, but like, Carrot to me, top. Wayne Newton is not like, I don't know Wayne Newton from anything. You know? Mm. I know Kayvon Thibodeau. I know him. Uh, I know. Yo, let me see your suit. Uh, Mind bro, Freak I, was there. Yeah, Chris Angel. Chris Angel Chris, was. There. I didn't even see him. Uh, exactly. That's how good of a magician he yeah, is. Yeah, he's the best magician. He's a ninja. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Any other questions though about my draft experience with Subway Chat? Join in as well before we transition to grading our team's drafts. A lot of ham would be on the Ooh, click. It would be a ton of ham. Nice. A little bit of bacon. Probably a little bacon. Turkey, bacon. roast beef. Touch of shampoo. Meatball. Touch meatball. of shampoo. Meatball. A lot of balls on it. Mm -hmm. um, Cheese steak. Maybe some, maybe some pubes. Eagle. Any other questions? Any okay. other questions? Vinegar. Just going salt, once. Salt. Oh, lots of salt. Lots of salt. Oh, that's going so twice. So questions for the trap. Tongue. 
chicken. Okay. Tongue. We're going to transition now to grading Tinky. our individual Tinky. teams drafts. We will begin with the oh, Packers. God. Tom Grossi, grade oh, your game. draft. What are we thinking? Do you Man. like it? Do you hate it? What are the vibes? I love it. Considering how many people migrated on over uh, when we drafted Quay Walker and then when we drafted Devontae Wyatt that we didn't get a wide receiver, though I had been trying to prepare the fan base for quite some time that there's a good shot that we weren't going to get a wide receiver. I was more upset when the Lions traded up with the Vikings, but that's neither here nor there. No, I mean, our defense should be phenomenal. We got Christian Watson, who I think has a ton of upside. Brett Coleman also helped really sell me on Christian Watson and how much he dominated in the senior bowl. So, yeah, I've got a lot of O-line depth. I'm I'm super duper happy. I love super it. Duper happy. What, was, super duper happy. Was your person, the player, the Rams were talking about? No, that was the Patriots. What? Patriots. Okay, yeah, that's the right. Patriots. That's right. Yeah, that's right. No, so overall. Fun fact, I actually correctly predicted four guys that the Packers wound up drafting in one mock draft. I've that's I, usually I get like one or two. I got four the in the same mock draft. Were the four? I did Devontae Wyatt, Christian Watson, Romeo Dubs, and um, is it a Katie? I think uh, the, the the rusher. So yeah, nice. Pretty, so overall, pretty... though, if you had to give your draft a letter grade, what do you? Oh, a giving? minus. A minus. A the minus. only thing is like Quay Walker, like people are saying like that could be a bit of a reach. So I wouldn't have minded it. Like, again, it doesn't matter because I think we got the value where we needed to get it. So I'm I'm overall very happy with it. Yeah. Coleman was pretty missed, high on Quay Walker. A lot, of, a lot of experts were high on Walker. He The yeah. day of the draft, I literally put out a video and I was like, don't be surprised if they go for him in the first round just because he's been like shooting up. And the guy, I think it was like over 500 passing snaps. The guy hasn't allowed a single touchdown. So... He's yeah. a great coverage LB. So yeah. I'm excited. From his, like, I feel like you have Devondre Campbell. So I don't know where he fits in with the pack. Because well, we had, yeah. Depth. It was just, Guys. it could be him and Campbell now. There was just Chris Barnes, and that was it. Um, Brandon Five and Tree. What do you guys think about what the Packers did? Are you aware of the Packers draft? How, would you guys have done anything differently? What, what are you guys thinking? I, I think they recovered nicely. Um, to get the Packers fans back in their good graces after day mm -hmm. one uh, because they did not take a first round wide receiver. I think that's the only criticism, but with the, so much wide receiver talent, I think they, they correct, they course corrected and they, they did what they yeah. should have done. They got it done. And, and Goody, I think gets a, a lot of negative attention because of how, you know, his tenuous relationship with a Raj, but I think that guy knows what he's doing. So uh, he did it. He ended up doing a good job. Christian Watson was the guy I really wanted on the Steelers, so I think he'll do really well. He's more, he's raw, but I think he could thrive in the right system. I thought the Steelers would have been able to really build him, but I think the Packers can do the same thing. I, I don't have an issue with Devontae Walker because I feel like you do need a three-tech to go along with Kenny Clark. But, I mean, at the same time, I feel like the oh, later right. rounds really compensated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we've needed D-line help forever next to Kenny Clark. So, like, now there's – a potential need for safety slash nickel corner, but like that's the only weak spot in that defense right now. You can like, throw yeah. in free agency. You can get somebody there. Maybe like, a we, yeah. There's so much. Like they're so good, and so and that's the thing too. Like their O line should be great. Dave Bakhtiari and Elton Jenkins coming back, and our running back. So we think we have one of the best tandems in the league. It's literally just wide receiver. So if they can make those guys work, they're gonna be rocking. So here's a question. Was there any receiver that you would have rather have had where you were picking? So maybe you guys trade back. Oh, pick where up we a were? Couple picks. Yeah. No, would you I mean, have I, rather? I wanted Pickens or I wanted Watson. And so like Watson, I think had a higher ceiling and I think Pickens was a little bit more NFL ready, but I wanted where we were. The guy I wanted all along was Jamison Williams, but I knew unless we traded up for him, we weren't going to get him. And it's mm -hmm. funny because Rogers literally said that he was the most NFL ready wide receiver in the draft. So okay. nope, the Lions did it. And then going forward, is there any player in free agency that you think, yo, we just get this guy in free agency. We'll be good. We are, we got everything we need. That's it. Packers. All day. I mean, if it wasn't Honey Badger, who's already gone now, I mean, the only guy, and I would love for him to be on a vet minimum and try to stay healthy, and why not, is Julio Jones. The only other guy. I'd be like, why not? What, yeah, why not? What, we give him the vet minimum? Okay. 
No and risk. We'll see. Like the thing is, too, there are going to be a lot of players who get cut, uh, who do get injured, who end up off the teams before the season starts. Let's transition to the Steelers draft. Okay, we got mm -hmm. small hands. Pick it coming through. I don't care about the Dude. small hands. He's double jointed. He is a god. He should be he a subway Hulk guy. In pit. Yes. I mean, don't get me wrong. Look, he, he, in the he looks like a yeah. dude who's either going to sell Subway or he's going to sell for a local car dealership around here and become their spokesperson. Kenny Pickett is the future. I saw a ton of this man at Pitt. He blossomed into something like something clicked out of him. I thought he was just like, oh, he's just a mediocre quarterback, but. I mean, that's why Jordan Addison's getting tampered with by um, Lincoln Riley in USC. So I have to say that, you know what, I was either on the Kenny Pickett or the Malik Willis bandwagon. So either or I would have been happy with. So Kenny Pickett, the uh, Pitt fan in me, is just over the moon. Second and third round pick are more like high risks. George Pickens is the kind of dude who is going to be a stud for the Steelers, but he might run himself out of town in five years because, you know, the character issues that keep coming into play. But, I mean – I think he should be really good. Like most Steelers second round wide receivers and third round wide receivers become like all pros because it's the law and they know how to develop wide receivers. Third round pick I really love, DeMarvin Leal, the defensive oh. tackle, defensive end out of Texas A&M. He was mm -hmm. a guy who I kind of wanted in the first round a couple months ago when they were doing early mocks. So for him to fall to the third round with the Steelers' needs on the interior defensive line and even the exterior of Stephon Tewitt doesn't come back, huge. Not to mention, we also got Cam Hayward's brother. We're going to play him as a tight end. So, you know what? Let's fucking go. Um, is he really his brother? <laughs> yes, that is his brother. Freak. Oh, I was going to. Well, you know what? I lasted longer than 30 seconds this time. 30 Calvin minutes. Austin, too. Oh, that's a clip. Calvin that's Austin. a clip. I lasted that's longer. I lasted longer than 30 seconds. Okay. Question. Kenny Pickett or Nathan Peterman? Who is the better pick, QB? Kenny Pickett. Easily Pickett. Peterman was solid, but Pickett. Like he led them to an ACC championship. You can argue the ACC was weak, but still, man, you beat Clemson. You beat a strong Wake Forest team. You beat a couple other schools as well. North Carolina's our kryptonite. I mean, we somehow didn't choke against them. So, you know so what? You, it's all good. So, you get the hometown hero. You got Kenny Pickett, right? He goes to Pitt. Now he's out in the Steelers. But here's a question for you. You said earlier. Hey, I would have been fine with Malik Willis or Kenny Pickett. Malik went in the fourth. The third would round. You, I, I'm third, surprised third round. by I'm that. Sorry, I thought he would have gone higher. Would you have, knowing what you know now, would you have preferred to spend that first on something else and pick up Malik in the third? Ooh. It depends if Pickett would have fallen too, because once again, you would have had to change your entire draft board. You couldn't have gone wide receiver. It would have been a reach. Your pick would have probably been maybe a Tyler Linderbaum like I would have, I, I would have loved him to be honest with you, but I feel like they had more pressing issues. Wide receiver, who do you pick? Uh, do you trade back? That's the only thing I can think of, and then maybe add like a like a, another third round pick to see if you can get a quarterback like a Corral or a Kenny Pickett or a Malik Willis. Because I mean, you at the time you picked him, you couldn't have predicted that no quarterback would have gone until late in the third round. Like that was impossible. To yeah. <clears throat> Everybody thought there would be a run on QB's Same here. round. And I thought so too. Just didn't happen even <laughs> even after that. So like it's not even about the quarterback quality. It's just like more most teams were like either didn't really need and of having a pressing need for quarterback or they wanted to focus on other positions. <laughs> all That's in all funny comment. <laughs> what are we giving the Steelers? If you had to rank <laughs> the Steelers draft, what are you giving this? I give it an A. I thought it was a, a? solid draft. Very high risk, very high risk, but the rewards can be great if it pans out. What would you give the Steelers draft in the comments right now? Let the Steelers read. consensus draft grade based on all of their draft grades, uh, B B plus. -ish. That's usually about a Steelers grade, B B plus. Tied with the the Falcons at nine. So why don't we just go ahead and let's just talk about the Giants? Let's get this over with, okay? Five. Oh, what Lord, what do you? Here comes the victory parade. What are you feeling about this draft? Listen, it was great. Uh, like it was an A minus. I'll just start with the grade to begin with because I thought it was solid. You really couldn't complain. Everything after Neil and Thibodeau was gravy. Little perplexed by Wandale Robinson in the next round. They continued to trade back and trade back. There seemed like there was more talent at wide receiver. 
I was not angry with the pick, but, you know, because Sterling Shepard's on the way out, most likely. I mean, we had a receiver core that was overhyped and underproduced last year. If Kayvon Thibodeau is healthy, you get two guys that are similar. It just seemed kind of weird that they would draft a underside. The guy's 5'8", okay? He's got lightning in his boots, but he's not a big receiver. Oh. Then, then after that, we picked up another guard. Uh... This guy, Zudu, we picked up a couple of defensive backs, you know, an LSU corner. We need a corner. Bradbury's probably done. Mm -hmm. They're probably going to cut him because they won't be able to trade him. Um, I, a little perplexing, too, that we took a tight end, Bellinger, when in the second round, He's when, raw all the too. Pick, yeah, you could have had McBride or somebody, the best tight end off the board. But they wait, you know, I wouldn't say waste the pick. They they took Wandale Brown. And then, you know, a couple more defensive. We have 10 picks. Like, it's really hard to mess up. Some of these guys might not even make the squad, but um, I thought it was overall it was a good draft. It, it, it signaled that we're doing things smart again and no longer Gettleman-ing. That's Do you think happened. that which is unfortunate? They're, they're not worried about wide receiver because since Andrew Thomas had more touchdowns than both Kenny Galladay and Kadarius Tony, they're just going to throw him out there. No, what the yeah, what the plan is is to get more production at wide receiver out of Thomas. So mm. that way, you that know, if, if he doubles up or triples his touchdown outfit output next yeah. year, then it just looks like a win. maybe Neil catch a couple as eligible well. Eligible receiver, so, 20 um, plus snaps a game. I so overheard that Dable wanted to do the flying V formation at mm, some point. So got it. That's, mm. that might be the strategy. I'm looking at uh, Wandale Rangers are Robinson. It first. I see Wandale Robinson. I see this pick and I'm looking at a Kadarius Tony replacement. Um, potentially. Yeah. So uh, they were looking to like ship him around and shop Tony, him. Tony, they, Tony, why, GM though, why would you give up like, on him? He yeah, your no GM said that we're not training I'm him. Still, like, I'm still calling him one Darius Tony. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he There's, just doesn't like it there. I, I'm not sure. He's not being used properly. I understand. Listen, some his, people come to New York and they like it. They like the spotlight. And some people hate it. They don't like the attention. Because no matter what. You could win a ring in New York, and then the next year, if you drop a pass, like people think that you're garbage. And like, hold on, it's accurate. It's, it's let's tough. talk about what Kayvon said. Kayvon Thibodeau in his press conference. Did you guys hear what this man said? I don't Anyone? remember. I know that he was really excited to be in New York. He was after it. So in his press conference, this dude says some some dude comes up to me and introduces himself, and he says, "Yeah." Hey, my name's Daniel. Nice to meet you. I said, Daniel Jones? He said he basically was making fun of Daniel Jones in his press conference, basically oh, yeah. saying he just looked like some average dude. He said, no, you can't be Daniel Oh, yeah, Jones. that shit was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, well, he does look like an average. He looks like he's ready to sell you insurance, Daniel Jones. Uh, so he's some though. analyst I, oh, and CFO of a new startup. And he was like, with the looks of Eli Manning. That's what. That but it was. wasn't even just Daniel Jones who was very unimpressive to Kayvon. Saquon Barkley also very unimpressive to Kayvon. Mm. Uh, with, with those met. quads for days. Come on, man. He's like, who's this? Said, he called him a kid. He's like, who's yeah. this kid? He corrected himself. He's like, I mean, Saquon. It was a man. He, a man. It was a man. It was a man. All in all, though, what are we giving that draft five? What do you think? A. Five. My oh, yeah, you said that already. I mean, honestly, you could have just stopped with your first two picks and you could have gotten an A. It was a W, yeah. After Anything after that, they could have just picked, you know, like three-year <laughs> Letterman and they would have been fine. Like, yeah, if no one makes – if only Kayvon Thibodeau and Evan Neal make your team, you guys will – great draft. Crucial three-year Letterman reference on the dumps. On the Heavily show. crucial. <laughs> Transitioning. I don't even know what show I'm on right now. He didn't have to finance his own waterbed. True legend. Yeah, moving on to the Denver Broncos. They've already had one of the best off seasons ever, all time in the history of the league. You don't think Peyton? Can they in? follow this up with a good draft? Brandon, take us through. Take us through. Who did you draft, and how are you feeling about Nick Bonito? We got Nick Bonito, whose name literally translates to Nick Beautiful in the mail. <laughs> yes. In the male form. Yes. yes. Nick, beautiful man. 
We've got a restaurant here in Colorado co called Casa Bonita. So it was destiny. We Casa used Bonita. the Von Miller pick announced by Elvis Doomerville, legendary Broncos edge rusher. It all made sense. It all lined up to the Nick Bonito pick, which value wise, really great place to get him. Also, like Tom, I put him in a thumbnail on my Broncos podcast before the draft, so I willed it into existence. Willed it. But we did not pick until 64, so I'm going to give the Broncos an F for freaking making me wait that long for a draft pick. All this, there were so many like rumors they were going to trade up round two. So I was like, okay, Will, let's just stream round two, the whole thing, round two and three. <laughs> they stat put and we wasted two hours of our life. Don't like that. Uh, after that, Greg Dulcich, like the tight end. Uh, Damari Mathis, uh, safety, like safety corner hybrid. Probably going to use him as corner uh, from Pitt. What do you think, Tree? Do you know anything about him? A little bit about. I mean, it's probably pretty solid, so you should be okay there. I mean, if it's yeah. a pit safety, I watched I mean... one highlight video of his. He got he had <laughs> a really pretty much an expert now. Yep, really hard. Uh, he's hardcore expert, man. Once you uh, follow those highlight reels, man. Yeah, true expert. Man. Yeah, but That's all you got to do. The thing was, the Broncos like they didn't have any huge needs to fill. Like Edge was the biggest one, and that's like a depth thing because Randy Gregory, Bradley Chubb have a history of not staying healthy for full seasons. So they needed depth there. Nailed that with the first pick. Everything after that's kind of just like gravy. And if one of those guys, like I felt like a lot of their picks were for special teams. Did and that's, that's kind of the MO for a back end of a draft anyway, but it felt like, and that's an area like the Packers, they need to get a lot better in. And their coverage units were horrible last season. So if guy like uh, Mathis can come in and be, you know, a role-playing corner and also contribute on special teams. Solid draft. B minus. Did any pick surprise you? You're like, huh? Really? Tight end? Third? No, because, like, I mean, we gave up Noah Fant in the trade to the Seahawks. So, mm -hmm. like, that doesn't surprise me uh, at all, really. It seemed like an area they could address. Uh, I just, like, you know, I don't watch a lot of college football, so I'm like, who the hell is Greg Dulcich? And then... Uh that he was Coleman's number one rated tight end in his tight end video. I'm like, oh, we got the best tight end ever. <laughs> that dude's a stud. Dulcet, you got me. lucky. I was surprised that the Giants didn't take him. I was a little ticked off. We need we need a tight end. I, I thought that y'all had a great draft because before the draft, you fired Pat Shermer. That was the greatest <laughs> move that you could have made. All our mm -hmm. offensive players are better this year because of yes. that. <laughs> you did not have as many holes to fill by getting rid of one guy. Any I last thoughts or concerns? Why, why wasn't Thunder there to announce a pick? Uh, safety concerns for him or everyone else. Sexual exactly. harassment. Got it. Uh, Impregnating. He, you do not. He is. Mm -mm. Okay, chat. Make a pick, a letter grade for the Broncos draft. This brings us uh, to the Dallas Cowboys. To the world. America's team, the future oh, 2023 no. Super Bowl champion. Oh, wait a minute. We Dallas have their whole draft right here. Dallas yeah. Cowboys. The Giants did the Cowboys draft perfectly. Yeah, okay. they did. So, for those aware, <laughs> once again, somehow, some way, the Dallas Cowboys board has been leaked. No, uh, I'm sorry. Jerry. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was Jerry's no, board. Not somehow, some weighing this. Your owner showed it to the media, literally going, "Oh, you know, we had them right underneath those two guys here. Look!" And they're like, and the, "The media literally is like, is that the real thing? You got them saying, put that away, put that down." He's yeah, like, even <laughs> Haha, look Listen, at this draft board. What you, guys, <laughs> what you guys don't understand is this was all part of the plan. I told nope, Jerry plan, to huh? bring the up plan. that fake sheet. I told him that's how we're going to get him. That's how we're going to get him. They're a list oh, of his illegitimate children at the bottom. But regardless, <laughs> yeah, that, that, no, that was actually his ranking. Of Hold on. Let me get was, my time. Uh, you guys got your time. With? Let me get my time. So, okay. Yes. Yes. Get your regardless, time. Regardless, the Dallas Cowboys surprised a lot of people in selecting Tyler Smith. Okay, Tyler Smith, 
He was coming up on a lot of Cowboys draft boards literally like the day before, the week before. I had not seen this man mocked in any mock draft to the Cowboys until the week of the draft. Tackle out of Tulsa, okay? <laughs> a lot of the Reddit, okay, I'm in the Reddits. A lot of the Reddits did not want this man. Where we are now, collectively, <laughs> we, Mike smiling like, we are at the wait and see approach. Okay. It's like, you know, like buttholes. You know, everybody has them. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> wait and see. Okay. I think we're going to be wait good based on that clip, approach because we don't like know. Buttholes. We don't know that much about him. What we do know is that he was one of the most penalized. I'm sorry. He was the most penalized player in all of college football. He will be joining a Dallas Cowboys offensive line. That is one of the most penalized in the, the NFL most. football. The so <laughs> well, let's see how Match it plays happen, baby. Match that's, my, that's one of Mike McCarthy's type of guys. reservations. Mm -hmm. In the second, though, I like what we did in the second. But let's go back. A lot of people were upset we took this man because we felt like we could get him in the second or even third, potentially. Uh, and a lot of people were also mad because Jermaine Johnson fell to the Cowboys, and we yep, thought we were going to get the Randy Gregory replacement right there. He's right there, but we didn't. We we went we went a different way. Second round, we pick up Sam Williams. Yes, five. What, what's that? Oh, I, I just have a question. I Was uh, offensive line really your biggest need, though? It just seems it like was a pretty big need for them. They cut line. Lyle Collins, and they lost yeah, it's Connor a, it's Williams. Yeah, a big need. Okay. It's a pretty big yeah, need. Huge need. Uh, huge need. Second round, we end up with Sam Williams, defensive end out of Mississippi. This dude had a lot of sacks. He actually had more sacks than Aiden Hutchinson. Uh, what ended up happening, and I haven't read all into this case, but there was an off-the-field incident mm -hmm. which bumped this man down. I can't speak on it because I haven't read or anything on it. I don't know anything, so I won't Tell talk you what, about the it. Dallas Cowboys and character concerns, Jerry Jones does not care unless a man can play football. So you know what? He, that is a perfect Dallas Cowboy pick. Listen. A lot of people are get down on Jerry Jones, but I like yeah! the fact I like the fact that this man gives people second chances. Okay. Yeah. I just I personally I don't think that's a bad thing. But we get Sam Williams in the second, then we get Jalen Tolbert in the third. This guy is a bona fide X receiver, but we can put him wherever. He can win balls. Michael Gallup, pause on that. Michael Gallup is not gonna be back by the start of the season. So we're going to need someone to fill in. Jalen Tolbert could be the guy. But I also think we're sleeping on people like Simi Fajoko. This is a practice squad receiver who a lot of people don't even know about, haven't heard, dude 6'4". Uh, so I'm excited for that. And some of the later rounds, we pick up some linebackers, some cornerbacks. We'll see who makes it past uh, the practice squad. But all in all, grade. The grade is a TBD. That's what we're giving. Oh, you can't do that. That's we're giving a TBD. TBD. Come on. You got Come an on. issue. Grade. Yeah. Not fail. Make not fail. Yeah. We all did letter grades already, and they're yeah, you can't. We're gonna go. What? You got to do your grade too, man. Okay. Come on. It's like you know, like buttholes. You know. Feed, about Tyler grade Smith. Feed. Okay. And about Nick buttholes. Williams and all okay. the other guys. So you we're know gonna what? give this. We're gonna give this draft a C. A oh, C. Wow. We're giving it a C because. Because I just feel like we could have got more value in our picks. I mean, I feel like we could have traded back and still picked up this dude. So it's not that I don't like that we selected him because this guy could end up being the next Tyron Smith. We really don't know. Everyone's just guessing. But it's just much. we could have got this dude and traded back and picked up some other people. That's, that's all. So because of that, we're going C, average. We could have picked up some more draft capital. Uh, to, I don't... To, to be fair, to be fair. To be fair. Um, I will say, in that video with Quay Walker, I also had Tyler Smith going at the end of the first. So I don't think it's as outrageous. I just think it's funny considering how penalized he was going to the Cowboys and their line is so penalized. But he can move around. Like, he's not. He's a good player. Yeah. He, None of us yes, know. And he, he has, he has the fundamentals. He has the strength. Like, everything is there. It's just, can he have the technique? Is he going to be the next Connor Williams holding 10 times a game? 
we don't know. We're going to have to wait. My find out. My question is for both Scooter and Five, another team that had a pretty darn good draft was the Philadelphia Eagles getting said Jordan Davis, getting Mm -hmm. A.J. Brown from the Titans. We a little concerned here now? Because they have a great quarterback in the draft, Carson Wentz. Future starter, Cowboy, and Giant Destroyer. Yeah. Carson Carson Strong? Strong? Carson Strong. Strong. (laughs) I was was a little disappointed because – you know, the the Eagles fans hate Howie Roseman. I was figured he would Howie Roseman his way, but he's worse with free agents and training and trades. So, I mean, they had a good draft. I, I would not say that. I wouldn't say that I'm up, upset about it. I don't care about what the other teams do. I care about what my team does, and they got better. With that being said, can we close the show out by saying which team do you think had the best draft and which team do you think had the worst draft? Mm-hmm. Uh, we can, but let me answer this question. Uh... <laughs> um how do i feel about the eagles draft the eagles did get a lot better but ultimately and this also ultimately for the giants and also ultimately for the commanders it doesn't matter who's on your team if your quarterback is daniel jones it doesn't matter who's on your team if your quarterback is jalen hurts it does not matter who is on your team if your quarterback is Carson Wentz, it does not matter. Get Evan Neal. Get Kayvon Thibodeau. Who's throwing the ball? Who's throwing the ball? Well, Y'all need a quarterback. Jones Y'all basically didn't pick up his fifth year. To have Baker a Mayfield season. to the Giants. Yeah. That Jones might has be worse. to have a fluke season and like win a Super Bowl in order to stay in New York. Like that's the only way. Because really with the way that they want to set it up, they probably only want to win four or five games next year and then draft a QB in a QB rich draft. They they have the option. It. The only way that Jones stays a giant is if he puts up. Oh, put not that put out, that's Dan. Up. That's fair. Put but out, like, Dan. The Eagles. I'm not afraid, bro. I actually think it is. It was dumb that they traded for AJ Brown because now you have to pay this man all they this money. Him. You could yeah. have drafted a receiver who could be as good or even better than AJ Brown. Mm. Get him for five. No way, buddy. You have no to consider way. that. I have to a remember. No that the Eagles have had bad luck drafting receivers. Man. They have. JJ I mean, Arthega Whiteside, Ward. terrible. Got- Jalen Rager, terrible. Nobody's going to buy him for a bad Devontae Smith, like, and then you have point. Devontae Smith. A jury's still out. He looks okay, but he, he looked great last year. So, like, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. Like, you're getting someone. They don't. They're, they don't have a big, expensive QB contract to pay. They might not yeah. have one next year because they're going to potentially draft the replacement for that. They can spend all this money as much as they want because who else are they going to spend it on? Who cares? So, like, yeah. I think that that's a great pickup for them. They have now two, arguably two number one wide receivers, and if they and actually get to the run before midseason, they'll be fine. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just locking up money Kobe. for a long period of time Kobe. never, never plays out well. But it worked out with Zeke. Oh, geez. It is. Now it's it's now a tight end. Oh, geez. For the it's NFC. Worse. But, guys, Wolf. that is going to – wait, what did you want us to do, five? We no, to forget it. Just forget it. I think the Ravens had the best draft. I re, Jets, too. Jets. Jets, Jets had a very draft. Draft. The best draft. The thing is, like, the usually the bad teams – sorry. The bad teams have the best drafts, right? But, Just like, the Ravens best. had an incredible draft, and they're already a good team. Like – them Somebody getting Kyle Hamilton is such a pick pick. for Hollywood Brown. Dude. And they traded and they picked Tyler Linderbaum. I am not looking forward to that's what I'm saying. Years. Like, I feel like the Eagles could have done something like that, but like the Ravens did. They well, the Eagles also remember they have next New Orleans next year first, too. Yep. So they have they can do they want. that's why they flipped trash. it. This is so. some bull. All right, can we do this the countdown? It ain't yeah. bull. You're just One jealous. I am. Grassy, 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 grassy. 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15, 4. The entire NFC East is showing the Cowboys the door. They're showing you how to actually not leak your picks. Wait, what? And meanwhile, the Cowboys this year. Oh, wait, I can't rhyme that because it's a family friendly show. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you should just still do it either way, man. Candle yeah, whip. Tree just does it anyways. He doesn't. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't. I don't mean to, but you can't <laughs> tame the beast. You cannot sure. tame the beast. Sure. I have fifty-five dollars. Ooh, I got forty-two, forty-seven, thirty. I'm thirty-six, ninety-eight. I'm oh, free. Crap. What? 
What'd you say? Tree, what'd you say? 3698. 7288. Is this the oh, lowest? Oh, this has gotta be grossy. Uh, someone it's donated grossy. a hundo to me, so I lost. Yes. I got one in four. <laughs> oh, the goosey goosey oh. showed up again. Make it rain, son. I I literally didn't have time to do the Jordan Love one, and I literally remembered today, like before we went live. So I have to do the Jordan Love punishment still. Mm -hmm. I'm working on my A B punishment. It should be ready by next week. I thought we I, had a punishment. I still have to dress up as in an Eagles. Gosh darn! Did the Jordan Love letter that the oh, that yeah. oh. couple vids. I did the commies one last. It was a draft happened though, so I literally couldn't do it. I've been rehabbing from a foot injury this whole time, and you guys can't. What are we gonna do as a punishment for Tom Grassi this week? He should have to listen to the AB album. I didn't do anything. No, <laughs> I did nothing wrong. <laughs> I think you should have to go. Chat, help us out, chat. Help us out. What 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 are we doing? If the Bucks lose this series, I think you should do a tribute video to the Boston Celtics. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Without it, you can't do any research on the Celtics either. I, yeah, I know nothing yeah. about them, so that's to perfect. Be all from memory. <laughs> Yeah, okay. all Kevin from what Garnett available knowledge really that you have. So if they lose, all right. So if they lose, I do. Was game stealing. What if they what? win though? They, he needs to do some type of punishment. There needs to be a back default. If he if the win, Bucks win, should he have to buy an Aiden Hutchinson jersey? He or a Jameson Williams? Oh, jersey? not Jameson. Don't do it. No. Yes. No. That's, that's yes. Right. yes. All in the wound. Jameson that's even Williams better. Yeah. It's all in the wound. Yes. Jameson Williams. Yeah, jersey. you got to do that. Actually, or you can do a, a Vikings uh, custom jersey, the purple incarnation of Satan. I see. I would yep. actually wear that with pride, though. <laughs> ah, Jameson Williams. Okay, Jameson, Jameson Williams, Williams, Williams will be better then. Jameson right. Williams, lock it in. Yeah, guys, this I, I like was Clickbait Sports. We will be back next Thursday, same time, five p.m. Oh, Eastern. I won't. Sorry, guys. Without Brandon, we will see vacation. you guys. Go next him, week wait, we're not gonna tell hey well uh, oh. tree and i are streaming the rangers yeah. penguins game on the dumpster fire so. and you're also gonna lose again so have fun with that what time is that uh, happening family friend seven o'clock <laughs> and where can they watch that on the on dumpster, the dumpster fire. Fire. You fire podcast yeah. oh yeah we got to do sir random fire. guys report we keep forgetting to do that That's oh yeah true. yeah i thought we did that yeah. no, no you never read it not. oh so we will Next be week, we're just going to like offload all our punishments. Next week. Call that okay. show. <laughs> all right, guys. Until next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> You're going to.